This is the perfect dessert if you've got people coming around and want something quick and simple in a hurry. It's a cheesecake. I'm going to flavour this with ginger and syrup. So, Will, if you can start off by making a base, yeah. just with whatever biscuits you've got around, crush those up. And then we've got some cream cheese. Now, you can use cream cheese for this, mascarpone, even ricotta. But then we need to sweeten this up a bit. And what I'm going to use is ginger and syrup, because I love this stuff. Smell that. Oh, that's, that's good. good. You cannot yeah. beat ginger and syrup. It's brilliant. So this stuff is actually just candied ginger. Dice it up quite well. Throw the ginger in. And then we can pour in some of this syrup. Now, this will act as a natural sweetener, so there's no need to add ice and sugar in here. And mix that all together. How are we doing, Will? Yeah, Just crush those up really nicely. Okay. You can take a tablespoon of softened butter yeah. and throw that in. There we go. Well, fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. If you can grate me some chocolate as well. Okay. Chocolate and ginger and syrup, great combination. All we're going to do now is use one of these little metal rings. Press this down nicely so it's just nice and compact in the base of our little mould. Take the filling, spoon it in, flatten it right down. If you can take the chocolate now and just sprinkle the chocolate okay. over the top. Yep. All right. Okay. And then just take the remainder of the chocolate off. And then I need to get a cloth and clean the plate really okay. well. Clean well, no fingerprints. OK, all know. right. It's as if your mother's coming round for something to eat. Now, to take this mould out, I'm just going to use a blowtorch. This is, instead of using a hot cloth, it just creates a nice, clean edge to it. What we do is just go round with the blowtorch. Just softens up the cream nicely, so then we can lift off our ring and it comes straight off. Right, well, if you can take a couple of pieces of ginger, yeah. just chopped up, and then place them on there. OK. And I thought, as a nice garnish with this, we'll just do a little bit of fancy stuff out of sugar work. You don't have to do this, but if you've got a bit of time on your hands, all this is just melted sugar in a pan. Take a rolling pin. We then take our sugar and just roll it round the rolling pin. Now, you've probably done this before, haven't you, Will? Yeah, we do it on a steel and oil the steel and, and do it. Yeah, you don't put oil on here, it'll actually do the opposite. It'll actually cause the sugar to stick okay. to the rolling pin. But if we just carefully lift this off, you can place that on the top. That's good, that. I think your mum would be impressed with that if she came around. Yeah. <laughs>